Recording episode two of Rocco on the Rocks. Action. Cue the music. This is good. What's up, rock stars? Welcome to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. I have the honor of being joined today by my lovely sister, who is the first co-host with me today on my show. So, Christina, thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks for having me. No, of course. Thank God you live so close. Right upstairs. Right upstairs, for sure. Yeah. It's nice. It's a far trek. It is. Down here. Two flights. Two, for sure. Yeah. So what is that, 28 stairs? Yeah, a flight of stairs is 14. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you do math. Yeah, so 14 plus 14, 28. Women in STEM. Women in STEM. I I mean, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen, she is an icon. She is the moment. I (laughs) mean, come on. But yes, thank you so much for being here with me today. Yeah. I really, really appreciate it. For taking the time out of your day. I know you have such a busy, busy schedule. Yes. Planning a wedding is busy. Yes, planning a wedding is very, very busy. I wouldn't recommend to anyone unless you're a wedding planner. And this is what you do for a living. Which, kudos kudos i've i've planned an event, a wedding before i've worked on a wedding before i should say mm-hmm. in the planning mm-hmm. but the bride you've been was, so helpful <laughs> you haven't asked me for help that's true you've been you are beyond type a for me to even intervene that is in the true. planning so much so that i thought i was gonna get a travel what are they travel, travel agent, agent. Mm-hmm. yeah what happened for my with that? honey no? i booked it myself I didn't need her. You, you know, um, <laughs> Miss Fusaro? She's a travel agent I now. Do you see? That. I know. Kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. What are we drinking? Oh, I told you what to drink. So let's segue into Scrumper Dump. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Scrumper Dump is our taste testing segment. Scrump is in scrumptious and dump as in ew. So, Christina, I believe, actually, no, you've done Scrumper Dump with me before on my TikTok. Yeah, on Starbucks once. What Starbucks did we, once. What did we do? We uh, shake an espresso. I think sh- one of them. Yes, yes, a shake and espresso and then for there sure. Was like that one got else. like two thousand views. It was like one of my first ones to like low key go viral. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then there was like something else. Uh, wait, was didn't the other one have like pineapple in it? Like real pineapple, or did we not film that? I don't think you were with me. I think I just made you try it after I did and said this was disgusting. It was. Or nasty. Drew had had it before. No, 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 Drew. It looked like corn was in it. Remember, like the pineapple looked like pieces <laughs> of corn. Was so weird. I think it was like the pineapple refresher. Yeah, it was new. It was new on the, the menu. That's it why was. I scrumped her dumped. Right. But Drew was interested in how it ta- what it tasted like. She had so not- you did the trial after I did. Was that it? It had to have been. You weren't in the video. I don't oh, think. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I must have been alone. I filmed it at my desk. We'll have to look that up after this. Because now I'm curious. But anyway, so for Scrumper Dump today, on the menu, we have a Corona Extra with lime. It's so typical, but... For you. Yeah. Not for me. No. Oh, yeah. You don't like beer. Is this no. your first time trying this? No, no, no. I've been getting better with beer. I have. You drink I... Bud Lights in Whoa, Hoboken. whoa, whoa, whoa. We started with Bud Light. We yeah. are now at Miller Light. Ew. No, scrump. Low key, like after a night of drinking tequila and like you end it with a beer. That's what you want? Sometimes. It's a really, really weird mixture, but it kind of works. Okay. Work. Yeah, I, I don't usually... really recommend, but yeah. I don't, I just don't like beer, but I can, I can have a Miller and hang out, you know? Yeah, but have you had this before? A Corona with a lime? Specifically a Corona extra. No. Okay, so this is a first for you. I yeah. went light. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Yeah, because I usually don't drink. No, I love a Corona. Corona is probably the only domestic beer I drink. I usually drink like uh, custom uh, craft beers, but like not. Um, yeah, you like craft beer. Not IPAs. Ugh, IPAs are disgusting. I thought you liked those. No more? No, never. Not oh, unless... just craft. Different. Yeah. yeah. We're learning. Yes. Remember, I'm the bartender today. Yeah. So we're learning. What are you looking for? The time. 
It's okay that it's on the podcast. The time on here, remember? Oh, I have to make banter. sure that the the time lines up with the camera because this only records 12 minutes at a time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So I check that. We should have timed it on our phone. Okay, so for the next round. Oh, okay. Anyway, to continue on. You, so you take the lime. Yeah. And yeah. Sometimes people will like squeeze it in like that if it will. Mm, mm-hmm. And then they put it inside the Corona. You're supposed to like do this weird thing where you like flip it upside down, but I've never done that before. That's strange. Yeah, that's what I thought we were going to do. No, because I'm not making a mess. Did you squirt any in? No. No. Oh. Because I thought this like just goes straight in first. Did you ever see the contraption? It's like yellow. Corona sells it. I swear. Forsyth has one. That's why I know. Mm. And we've had it on this boat before. Don't try it yet. Oh, sorry. We have to do it at the same time. Um, where you press the thing down, the lime. Like you put the, it like does it all for you. That's a waste. But okay. I'm curious now what that looks like. Look it up. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm putting it in. Oh. You're just not talking. Okay. Sorry. I'm looking it up. And now let's squeeze her in. Oh, that wasn't, that was so anticlimactic. Yeah, you don't have to do anything crazy. I know, but I wanted like the fun little, maybe next time we'll flip it up. I or... can't. That worked, right? Ooh. Oh, Sizzle. ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, scrumper dump. What'd you think? <laughs> well, the fizzing is not a scrum. I didn't know that was gonna happen. But cheers. Chin. This isn't as cold as I would like it to be, but it is good. Mm. Mm, so scrummy. Scrummy? Yeah, it's so good. I love a corona. It's a safe choice. It's a scrump. No, it's a good... Okay, it's a summer drink, though. And it's funny... I can have it any time of year. ...that we're having it right now because it's kind of giving swinter, like the Phineas and Ferb episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since it snowed today and now we're drinking a Corona. That's like, true. This is perfect. That's true. It's giving swinter. I love it. What was the song? I Literally, when you told me this is what we were drinking, I thought about it all day long and I couldn't get the lyrics. I don't know it. So we didn't look it up? No, I no. never looked it up. Winter, no, because it was good. Like the jingle was bopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, but I don't remember the Obviously. lyrics. Like I remember, like knowing that it was good, that it existed. Every song on Phineas and Ferb was a bop. Do you know what song also stuck in my head today? The Sharpay no. and Ryan song from High School Musical One, the first one. Yeah, but what was their first song? I don't know. She was on a ladder. I remember that. Oh, Bop to the Top. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're going to bop, 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 bop to the top. top. Wipe yeah. away your inhibition. Yes. Thump, thump, thump. Yeah, that's yeah, a great too. one. <gasps> that should be a, like a karaoke song. Like if you didn't know what to sing for karaoke. Breaking but it was Free like, usually is though. No. If No. No. Breaking no. Free? Mm-mm. That was like, that stole the show. No, but you want to pick a song that has repetitive core, like a chorus that's repetitive, words that are repetitive, because you want to be able to remember all the lyrics. That's my secret to karaoke. Well, obviously. Like, Hit Me Baby One More Time is my karaoke song. Because it's so easy to remember? So easy to remember. And I could do Britney's voice. When... It's a secret. Like when drunk or on key or? No, on key. I had to have been talking a lot. Like my voice definitely needs to be warmed up. Seriously. I sang it on New Year's. News to me. I'm very good. Okay. It's a video that's hidden. I me. sang You Belong With Me at karaoke. No. No, it's not a good one, but it gets the crowd going. No. You know what gets the crowd going? Ain't no mountain high enough. That's how you get the crowd going. Yeah, but who's singing that? Me. What? Also, first one. That's what you go out with. Who sings with. that? You don't know? No. Really? That's not good. Ain't no mountain high mm-hmm. enough. Uh, Ain't that one? Ain't no valley low enough. Yeah. Oh, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Really? Yeah. That's news. To just you. And me, I guess, today. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, Don't, no, no. Like, like, I knew it. Here. No, no, no. I knew it, but I just didn't remember it. That's okay. That's okay. But you learn something new every day. Yes. You can do Britney's voice. Yes. 
And I won't do it today, but I can. I kind of figured you wouldn't, but no. that's fine. That's fine. But I can. I believe you, regardless. You should. And I'm happy that you're sharing that with me because didn't know. Did not know you had that talent. You have to have at least like a few karaoke songs that'll in, in your, your arsenal. Um, yeah. That's why Bob to the Top is a good one. Like if you were to go Bob up with to someone, the Top is great for sure. Like but, without a doubt. I'm not denying it, but I'm saying that versus Breaking Free, Breaking Free will be on the list. I promise you. Not to me. No, not to you, but like to the karaoke bar and their list of songs. Oh. Is what I'm saying. You oh. feel me? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. That's that's the only thing there. But I agree, Bob to the Top should be... It's a classic duet. It is. And just so memorable. High School Musical was fabulous. So now that we spent like 12 minutes talking about karaoke songs... No, to digress. It's the new year. Tis is. And I'm so... on Like... 2024, here we are. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. What are your New Year's resolutions? Actually, before we get into that, here's one thing I'm really excited about, that it's now 2024. The toast is back. I just have to say it. I know. I agree. The toast is back. Claudia and Jackie are I don't done listen. with their- Break. Break. Yeah. Their winter break, their holiday, which they deserved. And life is just good again. Yeah, it is true. That is the thing that I listen to after work like every day. I haven't listened to them coming back yet, but I will tomorrow. If but you, I'm happy they're back. If you don't already listen to The Toast, you should. It's a fabulous, fabulous podcast. And an inspir- my, one of my inspirations, honestly. I love Claudia and Jackie. Yeah, that's true. They have great banter. They're good. That's a good podcast. It's like very lighthearted. It's very like easy to listen to. I Super like lighthearted. both of their voices. If you don't like people's voices, podcasting isn't for you, but I like their voices. So yeah, no, they're great. It's like audiobooks. I liked that they're they're on their seventh season and it was called Seventh Heaven. Oh. And I they were trying that. to you'll see, but they were trying to get a jingle for this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jackie obviously makes it because she's so musically inclined. But they just couldn't get one. And the entire time I'm listening to it, like, I already had a jingle for them. Which was? So it was like the Hess Truck soundtrack. The Hess Truck's back and it's but better it, than ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. But it was the toast is back and it's better than ever <laughs> for the seventh season. Oh. The toast is here. Oh, I like that. So good. So good. Claudia and Jackie, if you ever see that, you're welcome. I, like... That's free for you. Please use it if you want. <laughs> it's like free. I it's free for really, you. really worked really hard on it while listening because I just thought it was great. That is a good one. Speaking of the toast, you know who I saw today? Uh, I saw Carrie from work. No way. Yes. Where? Live. Live and in person? Yeah, at Short Hills oh. Mall. Shut up. No, I swear. Oh, that's awesome. She's about to have a baby. She's our coworker. Does she listen? To the toast? I know to the toast, to this podcast. Oh, to this one. <laughs> Yes, I think. Really? I don't know. She said, tell Rocco I said hello. Queen. Oh, my God, Queen. I'm so obsessed with that. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's a great way to kick off your new year, too, yeah, seeing true. Carrie. She's a fabulous coworker. She is. Tis is. She's due for a baby, like, any day. Literally. Any day. That's awesome. Yeah, no. That's so. awesome. But I saw her today, and she's a big toaster. She listens to the toast. As everyone should. As everyone in our office does. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, we it's saw her year. today. It's a new year. What are your resolutions? Um, if any. Oh, really put on the spot, huh? No, it's just that I don't I don't know. Or you don't do the resolutions. You just well, try to always be better, build upon yourself, and yeah, grow. Yeah. Bloom like, where you're planted. Yes. You know what it is? When I started, I used the Peloton. And this is not an ad, obviously, but I use the Peloton at pretty much every day, five days a week, like lowest. Um, but they always say, don't wait till the first of the year to like start something. You know, you don't have to like wait for Monday. You don't have to wait to the first of the year. So I stopped kind of like doing the whole since working out with Peloton, like I stopped doing the whole like resolution thing. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, because I'm just like, why am I waiting until January 1? Might as well start on December 28th. Yeah. Excuse me. That's true. No, yeah. no, no. You're right. That was gross, but yeah. Um, so I don't really have one necessarily. 
I do openly go to therapy and I'm working on like not holding grudges as much. I am like that was on my list. Was it really? Yes, I. <laughs> it was on my list. Because I can hold a grudge. Oh, I know. Mm. We all can. Mm-hmm. We're Italian. Mm-hmm. But that yeah, was. You don't forget that shit. No, but that was on my list. Was I it? wanted a year of like carefree, genuinely. Yeah. So my fiance always says like. Not just holding grudges, but um, like when you give people your weight, like energy that's like not positive, like, you know, you give the hundred dollar bills, the hundred dollar bills. You're giving people away hundred dollar bills and girl, like I don't have any more hundred dollar bills. No, to you're give planning people. a wedding. Right. So I was like, I'm going to stop that or Hold work on. towards it. So I said, mentioned that in therapy last week. And she was like, she I laugh. Love- yes. Yeah. She-, <laughs> she gave a ha. She did give a ha, but um, an encouraging ha. Like she knew. <laughs> <laughs> she knew we. Is could there have, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but like, this was it. Yeah, the, the it one was you kind of like ha. Like okay, yeah, like, yeah, okay. yeah. Like a surprising ha. Surprising like ha. A, That's better. Like I like a, that. Oh, I wasn't expecting you would say that ha. Huh? Got it. Got it. Got like it. A, That's awesome. We can do this ha. Huh? Cool. So I'm gonna stop holding grudges. I I really like that. Me too. I also, it won't happen overnight. I don't really hold grudges, but no, it's really within the people in this house. That's the only grudges I hold. This is true. Like outside, I don't care. Like right. friends, whatever. Like it's totally fine. Yeah. Mom, dad, you, Drew, <laughs> but Drew doesn't do anything. I don't have any grudges against Drew, but like you, mom and dad. Woo, my yeah. God. Yeah. Well, but mm-hmm. I'm working on that. Mm-hmm. My grudges with you guys, but there's none. <laughs> We're it's in 2024. Like no, We're it's talking totally very it's silly joking, things, but completely joking. But it's true. The 2024. No holding grudges. Open. No more hundred dollar bills being wasted. No, because I'm of also that. broke. Student debt. Student debt. So yeah. no, I got I got to save too, girl. I got to save too. Yeah. But I like that. That's one of mine as well. Any are you others? going on a lot of trips this year? Yes. What are you doing? So May, Cali. For seven days. When I'm in May? I'm so excited. Memorial Day. Like that time. Oh, that's when I'm going on my honeymoon. Oh my God. Mom and dad will Wait. be alone. Really? Yeah. No way. Let's double check. Yeah. In May, I'm going to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or. Yeah. No. I always have the dates on here and I put them. Ugh. Here's the issue. I have a calendar with my friends, like a shared calendar on Google, and it's linked to my personal. So whatever I put on this, I think someone goes in and deletes on like the shared one because it goes on their calendars as well. That's weird. So my, it's only because mine's linked up. So I'm assuming this is the Mm -hmm. same for everyone. And I would put like, you know, certain events that we would all be going to like out birthday. I put everyone's birthday on there. You're a good friend. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so nice. And I think I had the Cali trip on there and someone must have taken it off. Well, what are these? These are all. What's this? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Here it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're going the same time I'm going. The 27th through the 4th? Yeah. Well, I come back, actually. We leave the 25th and we come back, I think, the 1st. So it's like we overlap. We overlap. But yeah, mom and dad will have the house for themselves. Good for them. Wow. Good for them. I don't like live with that sounds bad. I'm like a 27 year 27 year old like I live with my parents but I don't it's okay like we if live you're in the older and live at home with your parents. No, I know, I know, but they have an apartment above them and that's where I live. Yes, our house was built by our family. Yes. We, we are the traditional all, classic Italian American family here. Yeah, we just no all joke. can't leave here. No, not it's at all. Financially sound if we all just stay together. Yeah, pretty much. Pre- yeah. Pretty much. And I love it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people love when we tell them that. It, that's good it's a fun thing to share most people don't have that yeah people in the south don't really get it but yeah <laughs> that's like a lot of my friends live in the south and like my in-laws live in the south yeah, but yeah 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 so where else are you going there and then florida as usual and that's it yeah i think so oh i thought we were like going on a lot of trips like I'm last year you went on a lot of trips be- the only reason why was because i had a couple short ones like I had one, I had a Florida trip yeah. in like November and then I had Nashville and then I had Florida. Maybe that was so it. So it was three and then for me that is a lot. And then we went to London. 
And then we went to London. Yeah. Which, oh my God. Yeah, good. What I would do to go back. Yeah, I agree. What I would do to go back. Mm -hmm. Well, you are going back. Yeah, sort of. For a day. Yeah, sort of. Like, we're going to Scotland, so. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, we're hiking the Highlands. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have such a good time. Yeah. I really, oh, it's going to be fabulous. I know. But yeah, those are the only trips I'm taking. There should be one in September, actually on your birthday. Sorry to relay that to you right now. I don't think I'm going to be here then either. That's fine. Uh, Say last. That's fine. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going to, I believe, an Alabama Roll Tide (laughs) versus Georgia football game. That's like a big deal. Where? In Alabama? In Alabama, yeah. It's a guy's trip. Sorry, Poos. If they don't already know. Now they know. Yeah. Wow, Alabama versus Georgia. I watched a game once in New York, one of the bars, one of like the sports bars. Mm. My friend from college was up with her brother and his wife and um her boyfriend. And, yes, yes, and, you, yeah, and yeah, her yeah, sister. Yeah. It was like a bunch of our friends. Anyway, they were all came up and that's what they were doing the one day. We were supposed to go out to dinner, but instead we ended up at this. As a sports bar. Yes, and that's what was play, Alabama versus Georgia. Yeah. It was crazy. We should be going. It's not guaranteed. We could be going to a different game. We don't know yet. It's a potential date for us to go. Mm-hmm. And I'm beyond excited. You're, you were a big footballer this, this year. I came in Four. The first of, time ever in fantasy. First time ever playing fantasy. Okay. All all for the past eight years, 10 years of my life. I don't even know. I cheered. Okay. All my guy friends played football yeah. and I was the cheerleader. It was great. Like it worked out perfectly. I was at all the games and I was cheering them on. Would have done it on the sidelines, but instead I was on the field with them flipping. Yeah. Like it was fabulous. Okay. This year for the first time, I did fantasy football with them. And I made it to the playoffs. I came in fourth out of eight teams. That's a big deal. Halfway. H- halfway. For your first time. For my first. Say less. And Jordan actually helped me with my roster. So thank you, J- thank you, Pooh, so much. And Pete also helped me along the way as well as like we kept going on and on. Did you like learn the players eventually? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know who the I'm not player- that good right now. But like you know, are you watching ESPN now? No, now oh. since fantasy's okay. Look, now since fantasy's over, I'm obviously not tuning in as much. Okay, so, and at this point in the episode, we experienced some technical difficulties, and we were unable to not record this fun little banter that Christine and I had for this little segment of the episode. So for right now, because I'm not half a, half assing any episode I give to you guys, I'm going to give it to you all because you deserve it i'm going to discuss what we talked about here in this little segment gonna give you a quick little synopsis and then we will continue with our regularly scheduled programming and you'll see me and christina again eventually but for right now it's just you and me guys okay so at this point we're discussing football all right we're discussing fantasy my first year doing it i crushed it i was the underdog the app honestly said that I was going to lose, okay? All throughout the season of us playing, the app continued to say that my projection was to lose the league. But no, no, no. I came out on top. I came out on fourth. Something was in the air, okay? God was on my side. The fantasy gods were on my side. And they let my team make it to the playoffs. And I'm extremely, extremely thankful for that. Because this was like my novice fantasy league, okay? I'm not on varsity yet. Next year, I'm making varsity. And I'm going to crush fantasy. I'm going to make it to the playoffs again. And I'm going to hope to win. But, you know, for right now, I'll take what I got. I got fourth. That's crazy, okay? And everyone says it. If you're a big football watcher, you will agree to this. Fantasy is a great way for anyone to get involved in football or to start, you know, getting to know the players and the teams and stuff like that because it's really mindless and anyone can win. You don't have to know football to win the fantasy league. It's really the luck of the draw because at any point, all your players could get injured and then your team's done for, right? So if you're looking to get more into football, I highly suggest joining a fantasy league with your friends. So what makes it more fun is you give a challenge to the loser of the fantasy league, right? For us, the challenge was if you were to lose, you have to wear a Red Sox jersey 
in the bleacher creature section of Yankee Stadium at a Yankee game. And that I'm so thankful that I did not have to do that. I honestly was mortified, mortified at that thought, knowing that I potentially am going to have to wear a Red Sox jersey in the in the bleacher creature section at Yankee Stadium. Whoo, my God, scary, scary thought. Luckily, I didn't lose, so that's not going to be me. Unfortunately, for Forsyth, that will be him. But we'll be cheering him on either way. I'm very, very, you know, supportive for him in this little endeavor that he's going to have to explore. But it's fine. We also thought about, you know, potentially doing a 5K or have someone take the SATs. It's fun. Like, fantasy, honestly, was so much fun. I loved it. And I can't wait to do it again for this coming football season because I'm going to be ready. And I think I'm going to do well. I might, I, I think my goal from here on out is just to continue to make the playoffs. I don't know about winning, but the playoffs is a good goal for me. And I think I'm, I'm going to keep setting that for myself to just make the playoffs. From me doing fantasy, I was also able to learn a little bit more about sports betting. And this was the only betting that I did. We all threw like 50 bucks for our fantasy league. But and that's probably the extent I'll ever go. But I was always curious about sports betting and kind of how it worked. The only thing I'm able to successfully explain is the money line. So if someone's betting on the money line, let's say the 49ers are versing the Seahawks. I'm a big 49ers fan and that's our rivals, right? But I'm I believe that the 49ers are gonna win. I'm going to take the money line and bet in favor of the 49ers, okay? So that's how the money line works. It's just you're betting on one specific team that you think will win. I believe I'm explaining that right. I I learned a lot, guys. I used to not know like nothing about football. And now I know some stuff. I know a little bit about betting. I was able to do a fantasy league. And I'm really, really proud of myself. There's also this other thing in betting that I don't get where the negatives are kind of a positive and the positives are negative. Like everything's like ass backwards. And... I believe it's because if it's negative, it's like more money that you will be getting out of it. Like if that, if those odds were to win. But I believe the negatives and the positives are all in the spread. And I, I don't know the spread or how to explain that to you. I explain, I can explain the money line and I know I did that correctly. So I'm going to take that as a win for me for this fantasy league. I did well and I learned a little, 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 little bit about betting. So Pat on the back for me, because I used to not know a single thing, okay? Then Christine and I discussed, it had snowed this past weekend. And let me tell you, I am not one for manual labor, okay? No, 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 no. I hate it, hate it. But I've been going to the gym, and recently, I've been loving working out, obviously, And I kind of saw it as, well, I'm not going to the gym today, so let me get a workout in. I shoveled so well this year. It was insane. I was unstoppable. I don't know what came over me. I think it's because I kind of took the mindset that my friend Ty, we go to the gym together. He always says when it's leg day, no one likes doing legs because it's like the worst because you're going the heaviest that day. So all you have to do is you have to put music on. You have to get angry and you just have to lift the weights, all right? And that, that'll get you through leg day. And that's what I did. I played music, I put my headphones on, I got angry, and I just, mm, I went for it. I was like, hi-ho, hi-ho, we're off to work, we go. Like, I crushed it, okay? I loved it, loved every second of it. And if the snow falls again in 2024, I'm ready. I'm ready for the next round to get a nice good back workout in with that shovel. Uh, honestly, it was great. And I had the Guts album by Olivia Rodrigo playing in my ear. So that got me through it. That got me angry. And I was able to just channel my inner, my inner strength, you know, and just tackle the snow. I had all American bitch playing in my ears. I was like, "Mm, yeah, it was great. Loved it. But I did have to, prior to the snow falling or while it was falling, I should say, I had to go into the city for my friend Delia's birthday. And I drove to the station and it was snowing like the snow was just not stop non-stop coming down right i parked my car at the station i got on the train and i was like mm, i'm getting nervous that my car will be covered when i come back so i go into the city there's it's raining only in the city there's no snow to be you know 
found, not a speck on the ground. And I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm fine. Maybe my car's okay. I don't have to worry about it. At this point, I'm going to let the episode continue because Christy and I talked about this a little bit and that's the other audio clip that I have of us discussing the snow falling. So I'm going to let that continue from my endeavors of coming back from New York. But just wanted to give you guys another little a little synopsis on what was discussed. Thank you all for being with me. We are going to continue on with our regularly scheduled programming. And thanks for this little intermission. But it was snowing like a lot. So it was snowing a lot last night. I and I was it, scared coming back from the city. Even though you gave me such, you know? No, 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 no. because I had you texting me. I had Faux texting me. I had mom texting First me. I was all, like, everyone needs to feel, calm down. If it makes you feel any better. I know you were concerned and it came from a really Actually, good place. you know who it came from? Drew. Yeah. If Drew texted me, I would have felt better. Because sometimes <laughs> when you text me, I either don't know if it's like, Ooh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's like you're gonna be in trouble. Like no, you're you're no. like S O L tonight. Like <laughs> I was like, mm, she's like trying to get under my skin right no, now. No, I wasn't. I was actually I, worried because it was. But I was already anxious. Like, oh my god, my car's probably under like a foot of snow. Like, what am I gonna do? Right. Or you know, under X amount of feet of snow, how am I gonna get myself out? Because I didn't think anyone was gonna come pick me up. Well, we were awake for you. I know. AKA, I heard the freaking... Anyway. Doesn't matter. But... The fan This will be my last point on the snow from yesterday. When I got off the train and I saw that my car had literally no snow on it and that the lot was completely, like, I shoveled. So shoveled. The scene from Sister Act where they sing... Which um, one? Um, you know it. No. You know it. You know it. Um, Ave Maria. Yeah, yeah but it's... Uh, Salve Regina. <laughs> literally, that played where it's like, ah, like that literally happened to me. And I was like, ah, like I'm running to my car. I'm on the phone with Katie because I was like, Katie, oh my God, my car's clean. It's clean. Like I can I get know. home. That's kind of wild. It was the best feeling of my life. Ah, uh, that's a little wild to me because we picked up Drew's car from her work. Oh. And it was because co- we were shopping yesterday, covered in no. snow. Covered. A few specks. Wiped it right off, and I was like, I can go home. Like, I almost cried. I hate that for you. Hate, love. No, because, like, we were out there like, oh, man. Oh, uh, man, no. <laughs> like, yeah. I was so happy. Okay, whoopee. It was great. It was awesome. It was the best feeling. Anyway. Anyway, to digress. Did you have any other New Year's resolutions to come first in fantasy <laughs> and what? Well, that's no, not New Year's. It's already over. Well, you have a whole year. That's the thing about resolutions that people forget is that it goes on I can do it again. January. I can do it again. Yes, 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 yes. I would like to come in first or second this coming year. Okay. But grudges for right now. I We're, we're fresh. I don't know what else I want to work on. Leg shaking was one because I'm a chronic leg shaker. I'm trying to get better at that. Nothing irks me more than your leg shaking. I know. And it's one of the things I'm trying to work on. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. What are you doing for that? How are you curing your... Do you not see me holding my hands? Like clutching them? Why don't you get a fidget tool? No. I'm a pen clicker. Like I need like a pen to always click. No, I just bite the pen. I know that's really unsanitary, but I don't share it. That's good. No, I'm building up my immune system. (laughs) Right. Okay. (laughs) But yeah, that's it. Yeah, I noticed you haven't shaken your leg once. I've been noticing. I know. I'm trying to do a lot better. Yeah, that's a, that's like a type A personality, and my ADHD always notices those things. Yeah, so I'm trying really hard. And I can actually say that I have ADHD because I do. I'm not just like all my, you know, how people are like, oh, I have OCD, or you know. Yes. I'm just saying. That's okay. So yeah, I notice those things. I know things. you do, but that's something I'm working on. Other than that, I'm I. This is my year of yes. Okay. That is my thing. I'm saying yes to life. Which is so interesting because you know how that's our tr- the trend that's going on right now? It's like no's to leave in 2023. I don't do are that. Outs and ins. Ins and outs. I don't do that. I Whatever think that's that stupid. is. No, no, no. I know. I don't do any of those either. But I'm just saying I've been reading folks's mm. and like I saw that outs was yes and in is no. Yeah. Everyone wants to stay in this year. Not me, Pooh. Not me. Um, this is my year of yes. I, I feel like I've been in the house for a while, and it's time for me to get out. Where are you going? 
I don't know. Other than California? Maybe for a walk. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Go for a walk. Yeah. Go to on the Glen Rock side. Right, like change it up. <laughs> yeah. Change it up. That could be fun. But it's my year of yes. That's and good. also trying to get uh, 52 episodes out this year. Oh, every week. Yes, because all the positive, thank you, all the rock stars, by the way, for all the positive feedback I got on the first episode. It's really, really sweet of all of you, and I appreciate every kind word that was given to me. Everyone has said, though, I can't wait to listen to you every week. And I'm like, oh, my God, every week. Because I did say maybe biweekly got shut down by all Does the fans. Does that word biweekly confuse you? It's every other week. To me, biweekly means twice a week. No. Bi means two. Yeah. And then weekly. Two weeks. Get it? Now in my brain, it's twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> it is. In my head. This is something mom would think too. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You're not wrong. No. But. Anyway. Okay, yeah. Everyone will listen to you at 52 times. No, yeah. And I'm really, really going to try my best to do that. You haven't had any of this. What do you mean? I've been drinking. We're at the same level. Yeah, but I'm a small sipper. You want me to chug it? No, no, no. Okay. Maybe for another one. Maybe a bonus content. Bonus. Maybe if you're on Patreon. If we're ever on Patreon. They got to get that coin. I know I got to get that coin. But maybe YouTube will give me that coin. That takes a lot. Or Spotify. Or maybe the toast will put me out part of the TNN. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So? Or... Maybe Barstool will pick me up or Unwell. Yeah, with your fantasy league. With my fantasy league. Yes. Yeah. That could be fun. Okay. But we'll see. Anyway, this was a good episode. Like novice fantasy. I love that. That's what we made this episode's personality fantasy. Novice fantasy. Title. Yeah. Title of the episode. Yeah. Thanks. I love that. Rock on the rocks. Novice. Novice fantasy. Yeah. Featuring novice fantasy. Mm, We'll work on it. No, Project it's it. just going to be episode two, Novice Fantasy. Oh, today's episode. Name. Yes. Oh, what yeah. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your Barstool podcast. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. That would still be Rock on the Rocks. Oh, okay. Like, anyway. they're just picking me up. I anyway. we have to wrap up. We are going to wrap up. Mm-hmm. Christina, thank you so much for being here today and being my first ever ho- co-host and guest on the podcast. I'm really, really happy that you decided to join me today. Anytime. I, it's hard to get on your calendar, so I'm glad that you were it's able to come to downstairs. It's hard to get on my calendar. Ugh. And do this with me, so Anytime. I appreciate it. I was watching RuPaul, actually. I know. I saw it when I walked Charlie. <laughs> I wasn't. I was like, this girl. Well, it was an old season of the UK. Last season, season four. Such a good season. I'm glad you rewatched. I always do. I'm watching Teen Wolf. No. No, it's so good. But that anyway. Neither here nor there. We can talk about that next week. What we're rewatching. Oh, you're going to come back on? Sure, why not? Ah, she likes this. I miss it. I used to do it. Yeah, I know. I I gave you your shout out. I know. Anyway, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. To all my rock stars, thank you so much for listening. And thank you for all the positive, positive feedback you gave me on last week's episode i really really appreciate it and i'm so happy i'm able to do this now this year and finally get it out to you all with that we'll do a couple shout outs shout out to mom and dad love you guys shout out to the fam my sister my sister-in-law drew love you my brothers my poos caitlin and mackenzie my My creative directors love you guys and that i think is it till next week until next week, rock stars. Enjoy your happy Remember hour. to always be your best self and do not forget to smile. Life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Cheers, rock stars. <laughs> Don't you love that? Hannah Montana quote. It slays. <laughs>